Hello vlog and welcome to my guys. Today is a scorching day here in Cebu City and I've escaped the fumes and the heat to come once again to the mountains. But today I've ventured further than before. I've come all the way to a place called Charlie's Cut Coffee and Friends. And it's this restaurant and cafe with this stunning view over the valley. It's literally perched on the side of the mountain and it's a really big place. It's wonderful and they do great food here too. I've already ordered up a big breakfast from here along with the iced americano and i can't wait to show you guys around let's dig into the food first and then we'll talk about the restaurant later all right purposely not eating anything today just to savor up this moment all right so i've gone with an all day big breakfast number one i think they've got two choices number one uh which is with a spam and a number two with a hungarian sausage but i don't think i've ever eaten breakfast to such an incredible view Okay, here we go. It's a pretty simple breakfast. We've got some rice on the side here with some onions, some minced beef garnished with uh, what usually would be spring onions. I believe this is the juice that's been extracted from the orange there. Oh. No, it's <gasps> not. Oh. What the hell is that? Oh. Am I supposed to mix this together? Maybe, maybe it's like a Sinigang thing. I just messed up my throat from it. All right, I'm mixing whatever that was in this cup a little with the meat, just ever so subtly. I don't want to do it too much, just in case uh, it is too overpowering, but boy, that almost killed me when I sipped it. I'm going to try and be brave. I'm going to try and put this over the rice, maybe. Let's see if that's a good combination. i mix it up as well. Okay, so I would say there's three main sections to this restaurant. The portion over there, just behind me, is the lowest. And then it kind of like ascends slightly upwards. And over there, there's like a sheltered roof with a few straw pendant lights hanging from the structure. And it looks like a pretty decent place to chill. But where I've just finished eating my breakfast is the middle portion of the cafe. And it has two floors. There's the lower floor, and then this sort of elevated portion here. And I would say this right here probably has the best view in the entire restaurant. There is that little portion there with like a nice little treetop. Now we do have these two huge canvases suspended, providing some nice shade over the restaurant area. It's a shame though that there is construction work currently going on, but there's further expansion work going on down here as well. Look, there's like a chain there blocking the footpath to go down there. And it seems as though they're gonna expand even further down the mountain edge. Cause they're building some sort of structures there, another structure here, and I see another one there. This place is gonna look incredible. This place does have a picture of a corgi everywhere. And um, I asked the staff why that is. And that's because the owner does actually have a corgi which is named Charlie. Hence, they've named the restaurant and the cafe after their dog. I would like to take a look over here. Oh, it's a shoes off area, wow. It looks like the clouds have come in thick and fast. I didn't even notice they were here, but yeah. I hope it doesn't rain, but there's some really heavy clouds up above. But yeah, coming to places like this here in Cebu City, uh, this region is still categorized as Cebu City, which is incredible, right? It's still part of the uh, same, I guess, provincial area. But no matter how many times I come up to places like this, you know, it always takes my breath away. done with Charlie's Cup. Um, I've got another location of mine which is further down the road. I think it's like another 15 minute drive. So uh, let's go there now. I'm not going to tell you because I want it to be a surprise. You'll find out the location when we arrive. Yes, the sun is coming back out again. Brilliant. Okay, we've just arrived at our next location called Bacawan near Aliandra. I did actually see somebody coming up this very steep path uh, with a 
really grazed knee. There's even a sign here saying slippery when wet, watch your step, use handrail. Anyway, what is this place? Well, it's a restaurant and garden, and I'm predominantly here for the garden, because um, I just ate earlier at Charlie's Cup. We've got a nice little love heart here with a viewpoint. Ah, so they've got this rainbow bridge walkway that goes all the way around the garden and uh, onto the other side. What's well, actually quite a coincidence is that um, two days ago, was it yesterday or two days ago, uh, they were celebrating Pride. And I'm walking along a footbridge right now around this entire garden that's been painted in the color of a rainbow. So I wonder if that is to support Pride or not. Wow, it's incredibly serene up here. Look at these plants. There's almost every possible color you can imagine here. But there's a very strong bias for uh, maroon colors, different shades, pink and purple. Um, I saw a few little blue flowers over there and obviously greens and yellows. But yeah, they've got pretty much every hue you could uh, possibly imagine. What I also really like is that there's uh, different elevations in the path. It's not just like one continuous descent. It goes up and then down. And so it almost looks like waves of flowers crossing each other. Similar to what you'd kind of see when um, two mountain tops kind of like meet and they form like a trough and a crest. This place is full of it. I believe this way is the exit. Wow, listen to the birds chirping away. They've got even more here. But uh, there's a footpath that goes all the way down to there with a pedestal of two symmetrical horns. I don't know what that symbolizes. Looks like a staircase to heaven almost, right? The path down from this pedestal that features these two big horns leads to the Garden of Eden. I don't know why, but that tree right in the center there with the seats around it really reminds me of the uh, religious stories of Adam and Eve, where they're not supposed to eat the apple from the tree. Right, so we've made it to the tree that bears forbidden fruit. It does look like people have engraved some sort of messages, initials, names onto this little tree here. But this is the furthest point of the Bakoan Alianda Gardens and you're surrounded by mountains. All right, I think it's time to start heading out and going back home, but on the way back, there is another location in which I wanna stop by, but I don't know if we have time. There is very little light in the sky at the moment. just in the nick of time to another location called Cyril Garden. Yes, I've mentioned it previously. Oh, this is nice, man. Stunning. What a different look this place has. Um, I believe this and kind of like little Amsterdam look very similar. Looks like we've got a wedding shoot up ahead. Congratulations. Welcome to your vlog. This is super steep. Wow. I've never actually been on something like this. <laughs> There's karaoke in the background of Celine Dion. And it's a great song from her as well. But look at the view of Cyril Garden from here. All right, time to descend this path. Oh yeah, there we are. Stay low. Oh man, that is such a good Celine Dion song. 
Oh, they've got another hand in which you can ascend. So there's one on the left and then one right at the far end of the garden. Honestly, I thought this was a little Amsterdam because of all the uh, windmills here. Oh, I just realized this windmill, the exterior of this windmill is the flag of the Philippines. We've got one final hand to ascend. I can't believe I'm doing all of this with my motorbike helmet on. <laughs> Completely forgot to take it off. Oh my goodness me. Look at this. lost for words. What's your road to planet? Mergin Blocks, M-E-R-G-I-M. -E um, I'm going to try, well let's go up this way. Because we're so close to Little Amsterdam, I want to go cover that as well. Listen to that karaoke, folks. <laughs> Bye, Sarawak Garden. I wish I had more time to explore. Well, it looks like Little Amsterdam was literally less than 100 meters from Sarawak Garden. Um, and we're standing right outside of it. Whoa, it's super dark in it. And um, it's pretty low down as well. Gotta watch your step. Oh, gosh. It's like little branches, little stems hitting my face. Oh, we've made it out. Little Amsterdam. So this is it. And they've got another hand sculpture over there like they did in Cerro Garden. Um, but you do have to walk pretty far down. I'm kind of curious why there's no one here. There's no visitors, there's no members of staff. It's literally just me. And uh, when you see mannequins like that. That is pretty trippy. Ooh. Yes. Ah, there's like a model of like a, a canal here with a bridge with the bicycles like you would see in Amsterdam. To get to this colossal hand, which seems like it's two hands, you've got to come around here and then go up this path. It's actually a lot higher than the previous ones on which I climbed. Oh, it's always spectacular when you get to the bit where you start seeing the fingers and then the backdrop of the mountains and the valley starts coming into view. Well, there we have, folks. We've made it to Little Amsterdam here in the mountains of Cebu. Um, but I think I'm going to be wrapping up today's video here. We've done a lot, seen a lot. I think visited around four locations in total. Two of them have been during the day and two of them have been during the dusk. But uh, I've thoroughly enjoyed my experience here in Cebu City. I pretty much spent most of my time in the mountain regions and I would recommend you guys do that as well. There's so much things to see here, so much natural beauty. But anyway folks, I think today is my last day here in Cebu City. I'm going to be moving now elsewhere but uh, I'm going to wrap the video up right here on this colossal hand structure. But if you enjoyed today's video make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video and share this video with friends and family. And I will see you in the next video here on the channel. Many thanks for watching, guys. Take care and bye from Sebu City Mountain.